One time for the underdog. One time for the underdog. You got the world on your. What's going on traders? Welcome to the FX220 YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching, this is Usama, expert forex trader and mentor. And basically what I do is I wrestle and fight with the markets and I am mostly winning. <laughs> so in this quick video, we're gonna go and discuss the two trades that I took on EURUSD as usual and give you my insights on why I took these trades, the reasons, and how I managed to come up with these decisions, these two successful decisions, as you can see right here. Let's start with the one that I took yesterday. So we had price going in a bit choppy around this area, simply because we are having a zone right here, a support and resistance zone. And you can see that price reacting to it many times so we want to have like a break and retest continuation and this is what exactly happened so if you treat this as a zone as i said we had some trading opportunities here if we analyze this we notice that price broke this lower line of the zone and then retested the upper one and then gave us an M formation and trended down. This was also a valid trading opportunity but I didn't take it simply because I've missed the ideal entry. I came a little bit late. So if you want, if you were to take your entry here, around here, you could get your 20 pips, roughly 20 pips until here. And the reason why market pulled back again was because news, we were expecting some uh, important news release around this time at the start of New York session and that's why the big move happened there and I was in here so what I entered was after this M formation with a strong confirmation this was a news release also this particular candle right here let's zoom in I waited 
at the open of the next candle and I went short and the trade was a little bit slow due to where we're trading t on mid to late New York session where the trading volume tends to get a, a little bit low and this is exactly what happened market hit our take profit I took exactly 20 pips on this trade market went for a little bit more but that's why we uh, we stick to our 20 pip rule simply because it provides for us consistency which is the the thing that most traders are looking for all right if you have traded entered here and you're looking for straight up 50 40 i don't know 60 pip move you're gonna you're gonna have a hard time you're gonna have to wait you're gonna there's gonna happen some significant pullbacks against you but if you follow this cryo this method you can get your 20 pips here then get another 20 pips here and like today you can get another 20 25 pips here easily and this is why how you can profit from each move in the markets you know what i mean these are all trading opportunities that you can get get your 20 30 pips very easily so this trade met all our criteria and we have let's discuss this trade on today's European session we had our famous Asian consolidation the breakout the false moves caused by news our M formation and then boom I was in the trade was in a bit of drawdown simply because there was an important news release around this time and the more significant the news release is going to be the bigger the stop hunt is going sometimes in like very important economic releases the stop hunt could be all the way through here simply like market manipulation they're gonna stop all the traders out if the stop hunt is this big they're gonna make every trader lose and then boom head down so in this case the stop hunt wasn't very very big our stop loss was around this area so we expect that this is why the stop loss is not very very tight we only traded when the price is close to hit the take profit let's say this after this candle for example after this candle you can trade it you can even lock in a lot of like some profits and after the news you can see the trader smashed through the take profit like very easily we had our confirmations from the other pairs let's check them out if we check the USD CHF was trending up massively and was showing strength if we check the pound the pound wasn't showing a lot of strength but there was some weaknesses when the pound stopped and there was no pound news this day so we expect most of the news were the euro and the chf news also at the new york session were us dollar news so this is why you don't expect a lot of correlation from the pound simply because it's not related that much to the euro the euro news or it can make it stop you can see here at the us news pound fell down significantly also relatively to our euro usd move usd jpy another major pair was very strong this is another confirmation for us that the usd is getting stronger at the moment and the euro is weak so and that's why when we have a perfect trade AUDUSD was going sideways if you can see if you can zoom out and see here AUDUSD was going sideways for quite some time right now just choppy so the correlation is kind of going away you don't rely that much on it but you still analyze it and that's what happened NZUSD was weak it was clearly weak because it was creating lower lows lower lows lower highs and that's these were our confirmations on this trade and this is how simple it could be guys no need to make it complicated few setups few trades quick and easy simple no stress look for your setups your valid setups and patterns look for 
follow your criteria and system and you will have results like this there really isn't like some secret or something these things come with the experience this is my job and why I'm doing this I'm explaining to you I'm making making things very simple for you pointing pointing out things that you should look at and sh you should look for when trading and this is how you learn so all right traders thank you very much for watching I hope you like this video I want you to smash the like button right now and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this also comment below what you think and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook where I post daily forex articles and analysis really great stuff out there guys I'm sharing all my trading knowledge with you thank you very much take care until next time this is FX220